Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Ratchet and Clank. We are headed through Battalia. And we seem to have a big turret here. And a familiar face, but first I'm gonna get these bolts. And some Visibom ammo. Hey, I know you two. Look, the plumber's back. Very funny. What are you doing here, sir? Maintenance. What else? I help fix this planet's useless air defenses. Well, I think you'd better hurry up. The turret works fine, you little yahoo. It's the locals. They haven't got the skilled manpower to use it. I'm a pretty good shot. You? No, I could lose my job. Oh, come on. What's the sense of keeping up a turret if nobody's gonna use it? Besides, the blog chased you off the last planet. Why don't we pay him back? Well, all right, go on if you want. Just don't break anything. All right, so we've got a little turret thing. And what are we going to want to hit with this turret? It's weird how you got to give... Let me do the game. There we go. And we're supposed to shoot these big ships down. As well as shoot down the missiles that they're shooting at us. And we've got a radar for that too. The red dots on the radar are the missiles being shot at us. But we want to shoot down three small ships as well. Because you guessed it, that's a skill point. And I apparently got it. I couldn't hit the ships I was trying to hit, but I hit ones that I didn't even realize I was hitting, and I got my skill point. And this really isn't too difficult. This is like the training turret mission. Although we did take some damage there, so now you see that the thing on the left is our health. And we took some more. And some more, and now we might actually die. Because we're playing sloppy now. But it really isn't that hard. Well, well, well. Looks like he's good for something after all. Here, take this. What is it? It detects underground bolts. My grandfather designed it to suck up loose change on any planet in the galaxy. What a cheap old man he was. Well, see you around sometime. Since you now own the metal detector, a bolt icon will show up on screen whenever you are near a buried stash of bolts. When equipped, the metal detector will give you signals to indicate your proximity to the buried bolts. The detector plate will always indicate the direction to the bolts. Hold down the circle button to activate the device. As you move closer to the bolts, the rings will become redder and the beeping will become faster. Continue holding down the circle button and once you are directly over the bolts, the metal detector will suck them out of the ground. So yay, the metal detector gets us bolts so we don't need this ever. I mean, it's nice that it can get us a ton of bolts, but it just takes a lot of time to dig all of them up. 
But hey, if you're short on cash, get that metal detector out. And that seems to have cleared up this area. Although sometimes if you move around a bit, you'll find that you're just a, too, a little bit too far away for one of the spots. And that's that. I'm not even going to put this on my quick select. Because we really don't ever need this gadget. Also, I was wrong before when we said that we were completely done with the space station. Because there's still that one gold bolt we need. I remember that. At least I remember it now. But now is not the time for that. Now is the time to go to Jowai Resort at Pokataru. Gosh darn it. Joai Resort at Pokataru. I just said it with a Japanese R. My weeb is showing. So what missions do they have for us? Just check out the resort, huh? Because there's two ways we can go, but I guess we'll be going that way later. For now, it seems the game really wants us to meet the guy. But let's show the Visabomb gun for now. Yeah, you can guide where the missile goes. And we want to take out... I think it's three ships here with the Visabomb gun. I find it better to just automatically blow up the missile rather than try to hit directly with it. You know, when you're trying to hit targets that are so hard to hit. You know, just blow it up when you get close. And as you saw there, the missile can only travel for so long and for so far. There, that was a direct hit, and we got our skill point. Now these cost a lot. And we can buy another... Yeah, a hundred per ammo. Forget that. Actually, I think buying from the shop might be the only way to get ammo for that weapon, but I'm not sure. But we can get a new weapon, the decoy glove. Which I can't afford. I need... 7,500. Well, darn. No, I didn't want to go there. Well, we can get rid of our Visabomb gun for now. And put the Pyrocitor back on, because that's going to be helpful here. Although speedrunners do use the Visabomb hey, gun. You two are the first friendly faces I've seen in weeks. You are friendly, aren't you? To you, yes. To him, no. Well, friend, have I got a deal for you. Since the Blarg <laughs> began dumping their toxic sludge into our ocean, the wildlife has, uh... Become ravenous mutants? Yes, yeah, you could say that. All my customers either left 
or became lunch. <laughs> so I'm closing the place down. However, I just so happen to have one, count them one, O2 mask left. How much? It's not for sale. <laughs> but you said. I said I had a deal, and indeed I do. You boys get rid of those Blarg ships, and it's yours. Just escort me to the other end of this resort, and you can use our jet fighter. <laughs> jet fighter, eh? All right. But you better not try to stiff us. Uh, yeah, speedrunners do use the Visabomb gun for this section. But casually, the Pyrocitor is good here, because we've got a bunch of little fish to destroy. And the guy here will not come. Unless the fish are destroyed, and that thing can shoot, like, energy balls at us, for some reason. Also, we have to be on the lookout for... I'm pretty sure every single one of these... Uh, star... Starfish has a picture of Dan Johnson on it. So that's another Dan Johnson cameo. I've now covered both of them in this game. So now that we escorted this guy over here, we have to defend this place from jumping fish. Or rather defend ourselves, because the guy never gets hurt. In the remake, the guy does have a name, but he looks and acts completely different on the remake. We can also use our Sonic Summoner here. Yeah, and the speedrunners just call this guy the guy. I knew I was gonna hurt myself there. Whoa, come back down, please. Thank you. You know, I totally forgot that you can blow up these these strong boxes by using the bomb glove. But you can. And we could use our metal detector here, but nah, I don't think I will. There's a ton of, uh, there's a ton of bolts here. But it just takes so long, it's really not worth it. Especially if we're gonna do that money trick at the end anyways. The glitch at the hoverboard course. And as if there wasn't enough of these guys already. Wait till you see what... No! Oh, hey, we got a checkpoint? I didn't realize this mission had a checkpoint. It does not get you your ammo back, though. So that's a problem.
But yeah, if you think there's enough of these guys now, wait till you see what's coming up. Oh my gosh. This part was always really difficult. I'm just really glad that there is actually a checkpoint. Because I did not think there was one. Actually, oh, we did, didn't, weren't able to get the decoy glove. This would have been great for that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm thinking Glove of Doom. Hopefully these guys stay up here. That guy was blind, apparently. Yeah, I like having my little Glove of Doom guys to help me out here. Now up this way, we've got an insane amount of fish. So we're going to use our Glove of Doom and whatever the heck else we can. Because look at this. Okay, nothing back here. I didn't think there was, but uh, I figured I'd at least check because they made a path there. So this makes a cool looking bridge. And it filled our Agent of Doom with so much excitement that he exploded. Alright, time for some fried fish. This is the final stretch of this mission. We just got to defeat all of these guys and it's good. And that should be everything. We're here. Now where's that fighter? Right there in that locked garage. One tourist crashes a jet and wham! <laughs> lawsuit. That lock is unlike any I have seen. Very astute observation, Mr. Shiny. I can't open it either. I don't trust the tourist. And the board of directors don't trust me. <laughs> so we have a little problem. We have a little problem? I just want the O2 mask. So if you can't open up the lock, that's your problem. Now cough up the mask. Well, I can see that you really wanted to fly our jet. So I'll tell you what. <laughs> Go talk to Bob at his robo-shack. He knows about these locks. You'll need to use the special features of a Gadgetron You can find one at Bob's robo-shack just around the corner. Well, well, what have we got here? Hey, watch it. I recognize that work. Y'all been to Seattle, ain't you? Yeah, he installed the helipack. I can see that. I taught that idiot brother of mine everything he knows. Look, if you want some real hardware, I can fix this little fella up with a thruster pack. Ooh, 
Will it help us get past that weird lock by the fighter garage? Ah, you know about those gizmos, huh? Well, it sure as heck will. It's got a real special power slam move built right in. It's a good thing I need this to get to that jet or you'd be out of luck, pal. I've got it. I'll have you fixed up faster than a horny toad a-hopping. <laughs> well, there you are, little butter. Butter and new. That's right. I am the man. <sighs> yeah, not bad. And while the helipack and the thruster pack don't normally have a difference in most Ratchet and Clank games, in this one, the thruster pack allows you to do this special move. Some sort of a ground pound. And now we can go to the fighter jet. Next time, I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.